Our final guest is one of the country's finest character actress, uh, actresses, as I can't speak to say. Uh, so fine, in fact, she is currently playing 23 characters pretty much all at the same time. Please uh, welcome Miriam Margulies to explain more. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. So what's all this about 23 characters all at the same time? How on earth do you remember who you are? <laughs> oh, I know who I am. Okay. Yeah. You were talking about back of a bus then. That's, uh, people have always said I look like the back of a bus. But <laughs> no, a, a very that? beautiful back of a bus. Wow. That's different. Hey, now you're yeah. on the side of a bus. I think I saw you on for your new film that you've That's got right. coming out. Yes, so, that hey. gave me a turn, actually, when I saw myself <laughs> out right there. I didn't expect that. What, I mean, what, what do you make of what Amanda Hart said? M Miranda. 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 It's all right, doing darling. very well today. Yeah. Um, well, I, I think that it comes out of pain, what she said, and I think that's a shame. Mm. Because beauty, what does it matter? You have to know who you are and be confident. So what yes. do you mean it comes out of pain, Miriam? I think she was remembering a youth in which she didn't have a good time because she felt ugly. Mm. I've mm. never felt ugly. I've, I've always felt fat. And you know what? I am fat. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess I was right to, to yeah. feel it. <laughs> Brilliant. Have you yeah. never, as an, as an actress, felt any kind of pressure to have to have a certain type of physical appearance? No. That's, no. Because how could I? Mm. I mean, I'm what I am. You have to just accept it. And yes, I should lose weight and all that kind of stuff. But look how beautiful my hair is. Because hair. because Don in the makeup department. Lee, Lee. Lee. Lee is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it was Don. I, oh, you was had Don. Don. I had the man. Oh, yeah. 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 You said yeah. you'd never had a man before and that was Lee, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about the, the Dickens work that you're doing about because that's the 23 characters I was talking yes, about. Yes, well, I'm mad about Charles Dickens, a wonderful writer. It's his 200th anniversary this year. So Sonia Fraser and I wrote a show about him years ago and we decided we put it on again. I've done it all over England. I'm doing it a bit more in England. Then I'm going to America and Canada. I've done Australia and New Zealand. It's sold out completely everywhere. Everywhere? Except... Wow. Except... <laughs> Except, except Hull. Oh. <laughs> Why are they not into Dickens in Hull? What's going on? They're not in the afternoon. It, it, it <laughs> sold in the evening. Oh. It didn't sell at the matinee, but everywhere else, 100% oh, sold it'll be out. All right now. It's fantastic. Well, be so out. I'm very, very thrilled. Is, and is this the same um, thing that you wrote? Was it about 1987 you wrote it? Yes. The it's old hat. Mm. It's old hat. No, it was on the it was on the official festival before. Mm -hmm. This time it was on the fringe. Okay. And I was a bit nervous because I knew I was not, you know, a now person. I'm mm. a, I'm a, a then person, but. It sold out. And so it's I, was... you, I mean, you touched on some of the countries. How, how, how well has it gone down around the world? Because obviously Dickens is so close to our heart here in the UK. Is, is the, I was going to say, the when the, the Americans come, is it mostly expats over there or is it the American audience that no. sell it well, out? No, well, I'm about to go to America, so I'll be able to tell you after that. But mostly, I think people love to laugh. Mm. And if you can make people yeah. laugh, they... It's they universal. enjoy it, yeah. and they like to cry. And Dickens can make people do oh, both. Yeah. The best. Yeah. And so, so, how how you explore all the characters in all the different plays? I'm assuming the lady, female characters. I talk about him as a man, ah. and how the women in his life fueled the women in the works. How they, how he was able to use his life's experience. It's to draw a, lot on of it, it. a lot of the characters were based on real people, people yes. he knew. Yes, but he wasn't he a very odd man, a very strange man. Yes, he was in fact a very wicked man. Yes. Was he? Yes. And That's he why really you've like got to come women. to the show and you'll learn, yeah. you see. Was he from I the will. Elephant and Castle? Was he from the South Elephant London? and Castle? <laughs> Mate, it's just down the road. Oh, it's <laughs> down the road, oh, I know that. I thought, he was from, I thought he was from Broadstairs in Kent. He was no, from Portsmouth, a... love. <laughs> <laughs> place in South London. We did school tours around it, unless our teachers no, didn't that's like that. Charlie Chaplin, mate. Charlie Chaplin. Why don't you two break it out, break 
break it out. Oh, break it out. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to go to a break. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna leave it there. <laughs> we're gonna. You shut it. <laughs> All right. We're gonna be back in three. We'll see you in a minute. Break, we were having a right on jolly old scrap over whether yeah. um, Dickens, Dickens was in Elephant and Castle. Have we sorted it? Well, yeah, Miriam, I think, can clear this up. Dickens has a connection with South London because his parents were in prison there. When you were in debt in those yep. days, in Victorian times or before, you were shut up and you were not fed. So you had to have food brought in from somebody outside the prison. Wow. And was Dickens... Like, well, I told you I grew up there. That's exactly <laughs> right. Well, I was thinking that you would know about that because when you talked about your shopping trolley, yes. uh, you said that, that you had been poor when yeah. you were young. Yeah, it and... was just... There's, a, there's a, a building as well close to where I grew up called Charles Dickens Building, so that's why I thought... Oh. Well, oh. and you were right. Thank you, You were Miriam. right. And scorn should not have been poured on you. <laughs> Before well, Miriam, you said that he was. I'm, I'm fascinated now that he that he was a wicked man. In what way was he wicked? His daughter Kate said, after he had died, long after, my father was a very wicked man, and the reason for that was the way that he treated his wife. Mm. And you'll have to either read what? Claire Tomalin's book right. or mm. Michael Slater's book or come to my show, we'll which you can't show. because it's so sold out. Sold out. <laughs> <laughs> generally not like women. No, he loved women. Ah. He loved women. But he, he couldn't deal with women that he didn't want to go to bed with. And what? after well, a while... he didn't go to bed with his wife? After a while, no, mm. he didn't. Because he can have lots of children. Didn't he have yes. 13 children or something? Uh, there were 12 births in 16 years. Oh, and didn't but he... not with his wife? With lots yes, of... with his wife. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. But he spurned her after oh. she had she born all the children. No, she was... Heartbroken, oh. absolutely heartbroken. He it's categorised a very... women, though, didn't he? Yes, he was very yes, he much did. The sort of but all men or... do. Mm. All men yes. do, don't they? I mean, I don't mm. have much to do with men, but I'm told that. <laughs> <laughs> there, are some, there are some that. that and didn't that are he all right. write? It wasn't Mr. Nickleby, his father, wasn't that? They didn't he? Mrs. Nickleby is thought to have been his mother, right. not Mr. Nickleby. No, Mrs. No. Nickleby was his mother. You must read the book. Who was Nicholas then? Yes. Read the book. <laughs> Character, you're playing 23. Are you yeah, I think to... yeah. my, my favourite is Miss Havisham, yes. Yes. Who, um, yes. who is a tragic character. And apparently, in the new film, which is just coming out now, mm. Helen, Helena Bonham Carter plays Miss Havisham. And I would have said she's much too young, yeah. mm. but actually, I believe she's fantastic well, she as is. ever. She's, she's, she's a, a wonderful actress. actress. Mm. Now, Mrs., talking about films, you should plug your own, not anybody else's. <laughs> you're, you're, you're in the wedding video. I am, and yes. Play, you, and talking of playing not very nice, you're... I'm an old bitch. You really <laughs> should <too. laughs> I am. I am. I'm excuse for the, the language. You're, you're, yes. you're not a very nice lady. No, I'm, I'm a, a horrible woman, lady. actually. Uh, In yes. what way? Uh, very class conscious and scorning people, scorning her daughter, making making people feel small and unpleasant. Mm. And there are people like that. Oh, especially In every wedding video. Especially, <laughs> I believe, in Cheshire. Because that's uh, <laughs> that's oh they come they live in <laughs> oh no sorry I'm not from there it's my adopted home oh, and... <laughs> another, another film filmed on my doorstep that I'm not in <laughs> <laughs> every day every day bitter well oh my it's, set no, it in it's set it's in Cheshire it's set in Cheshire I know yes. is it set near Alderley Edge do you know which part of Cheshire it's set in I I don't just know I think no. it's just Cheshire just you know, Cheshire it's not generally too specific General, think, yes. Yeah. But it, it's a funny film, and I'm working with wonderful people like yeah. Rufus Hound yes. and Robert, and Robert, and Robert West, West, West and the Robert Dame Webb. Harriet Walter. Oh, I don't know oh. if you knew she's been made a dame. And so she she should. Yes, yeah. she's a brilliant yeah. actress. Yeah. Wow. It hurts me to say so, but she is. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't see much of her on our tellies, do we? She's in the No, but she's going lot. to be yeah. in a telly series soon. It's, it's, it's coming. But, but you as a character, are ju are, you're just amazing. I saw you on Graham Norton with Will I Am. I've never cried so much laughing at a screen. I you were wonderful. Did you get on with Will I Am? Oh, yeah. What a lovely young what? man. No, He's but you charming. were brilliant with her. You kept correcting his grammar every time. <laughs> and that makes me sound terrible, but I, no, have, this, it it was I funny. have this thing about the word like. 
I can't, right, yes. I can't bear it when like, people yeah. use I was that like word. you were like, yes. yes. Yeah. I do, I do it was like Tuesday. You know, I, it was it Tuesday. Is, it was Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm with funny. you. No, I'm with you. She was either happy or not happy. She wasn't like, you know, kind of yeah. happy. Yeah. Can we talk about your voiceovers? Because you do voiceovers for everything, don't you? I used to. I now only do doll mio, actually. Oh, okay. yes. Oh. Other pasta sauces are available. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, that's you... right. You're not supposed to no. say everything. No, you've been a. You've been a joy, oh, as ever. It's been such fun having you on the show. And uh, as she said, there are still tickets available in Hull, but only in the afternoon. It's Miriam Margulies. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> we love her. Uh, that's your love for today. Joining us uh, tomorrow.